and the nature and power of Allah, the master of spiritual insight and perceivable of all truths. I rise to give all praises due to Allah, and I give honor to His holy and illustrious prophets, messengers, gods, apostles, angels, and angels in training. I give honor to all true and living prophets, Asiatics doing their part in uplifting the fallen humanity, and I give honor to you, the viewers, who have been here consistently supporting my endeavors for about a little over a year now. We here in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? And this is going to be the first Angel and Training TV uh, episode, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's your nationality? Early. We live and direct to Chicago. we in South Harbor, East 53rd Street. Uh, I believe it's called Hodge Bar. And, um, you know, we've just been around everywhere from the South Side to the Loop to places I don't know, you know, 87, 79th, and these other places. We came by here, we found some people from Harlem, Houston, who knew us, and um, brothers from GOCC in here now. We're familiar with GOCC from um, the Bronx, from with the Savage. You know what I'm saying? So, honest to other Gabar, you know what I'm saying? I want your sat, you know what I'm saying? My brothers out there. And, uh, yeah, we're about, to, uh, we're about to get up in here and see how Chicago gets down. Now, watch this. Now, now, watch this. He said we got to, we got to, we got to start over, right? So when Christ said be he not before the school of rebuilding, I'm not. That means starting all over like a baby. Starting step back. No, 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 no. Now, now watch this. Here. Hold on. Now I listen to you. I listen to you, bro. But now listen. Now the computer has a virus, right? Because your brain is a hard drive, right? And you've been programmed since since you came out the womb, right? What they never told us, who we were, and our nationality, right? I love y'all, man. Right? My man. My man. I'm not gonna overtalk you because I'm trying to listen to you. That's a deep wound, brother. I understand. That's why I'm not taking this as that's a deep wound in us, brother, that we have to You said we got to we start got to over, right? No, not start over. Listen. You said reboot, right? No, listen. You didn't hear me, see? You I heard you, man. I said that you got to put down Okay, now let's put, put it down. Let's put it down. for you to really Okay, now, 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 please. Now listen to this here. Now, say this, we put all this down, right? Now, now. And you'll find out how much power you have within yourself. Let me tell you, words are power. Let me tell you. Sir, when you start understanding, man, you sound like a pastor. No, see, you know what? Thank you. You sound like a motivational pastor. But you, don't, you don't find it peculiar that we the only people, this the only slave when they make you change your name. Yes, we understand all of that. And take your language. Away. Yes, sir. So, you know what? That's a script. Don't, don't you want to go back to what that is and, and find out what but, that is? Yeah, but you, wait a minute. You, you, can't, you can't go back to that hey, until Mick, you put things hey, Mick, down. Now, you can't, let the scripture come you can't, out. You right. can't grab hold of the in order to come back. See, it's already in you. It's in you. This is the command. What the comfort? Which is the Holy Ghost. Which is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Giving the you company, that which is the Holy Spirit, read right here. Yeah. Who the Father will yeah. send to my name? Who the you Father will send in Yeshua's name? She, she, shall you you she shall teach you all things. She shall teach you all things. The Holy Spirit, brother. Brother, the Holy Spirit, that's going to teach you all things. Wow, that's limitation. The Holy Spirit. Y'all only brother, can go back said, to a brother. You still is that all your knowledge is right here? Brother, is brother, that brother, that's all your knowledge brother, you have? Brother, brother. So you reject all history. Brother. Yes, you have to. Oh, so who are you? Who created you? your history? Who, 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 what they teach you? What, what, what they teach you? What, what school did you go to? You been self-taught? What grammar school did you go to? All information is downloaded from inside. Okay, then. So they program you from, from there to right now. You know what? Why would you want us to put down that we hold so dearly, man? This is the only book that tells us who we are. You know, I, I, I feel like it's a similar This is why we are so trapped and we can't get out of here. Trapped. Deal with that key word. Every time you say something, I can debunk it. Every time you say something, I can debunk it. Hey, 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 Nick, where is this going from? Hey, come here. The man said we're trapped. You don't want this truth. Who are you saying we're trapped? I'm telling my own. You don't want this. 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 Oh, no. I, 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 I,
Yeah, we trapped. We in a cage right now. We in the cage right now. And there's only one way. We can come up out of it. There's only one cage. No, no, you good, man. Way off. Oh, yeah, you off, man. This way off. You right. want us to put down everything. I don't, I don't know which one we're going to do. And he ain't taught us man. nothing in this Let's talk about some nationality. All right, man. Hold on, hold on. Let's see this. Uh, Let's talk about nations. Oh, he got a teacher now. Okay. See, he's doing his thing. Why are we got Baptist? Because so-and-so. Okay. Not just because John's Baptist. Because he's Baptist. Ooh. Let's say, do you say why Eric's a barber? Eric's a barber. Use a cut hair. Okay. Lord Mercado, the message. Lord Mercado, got the message. Alright, well, we go, we go, we go answer. Y'all can have y'all come. So what's your nationality? Boom. Alright, we're from the nation of the, we're the, the Israelites. Our nation right. is Israel. Right. That's where we come from. Alright, what country are you a citizen of? We are a citizen of the United States of America. Yeah, that's the most, I, yo, my man, yo, early. Yo, I think, I'm the hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, no, we, no, we, we've been no. brought over here as slaves. No. But actually, you know what? That, as long as you're keeping it real, that's that's right. I'm, I'm rolling with you. What? <laughs> you're right, right, right. Don't tell, yo, don't tell me, yo, I don't got the state ID, I don't the I, and I don't subscribe to, and you got a lease. No, we, we, we are citizens of, we, we've been held captive. So we eventually became citizens, or we think we we citizens. We think we citizens. But we really, really not. <laughs> if, if you had the ability to fully establish the Israelite nationality here in America and, and, and exercise full civil liberties under the nation of Israel, would you? Uh, I can give you an answer. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was before I came into this. I give you an answer. Well, right, I, now. right now, right now, I'm a part of Israel too. If all of us, I, I, I would say, well, I'm gonna get an answer, but I'm gonna tell you why. Afterwards. I would say no. I would say no. Why? Because I know, like you said, it's now. I know it's prophesied to happen to this place. So it kind of leaves me with the choice of why should I establish myself? Because I know it's gonna happen. You understand? But that's maybe a whole other conversation. But that's that's the answer. To now when, you, now when we say here, because it says this is going to happen in Babylon, right? but we also understand that not only is it a monster, but it's the people that are executing these actions, but it may not be a physical location. So for example, while we here, although they asking us to come up out of her, we not all going to another country. What we're doing is leaving that mind state of them and going back into our own. And so I want to know, can we, because we here on the land now, if we ain't gonna be in the American structure and we gonna be in the American streets, can we as Americans put Israelite? Can can we place that as yo, we're Israelite Americans? Because of that, you can't impose upon our land. Matter of fact, these ten blocks are ours, just like the so-called Jews doing brother. All day long. Right, 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 right. Here's, but, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get something for you though. So I mean, no, I know I already, you know, I know where you stand or whatever. Cause it's about establishing your nationality to get your own laws because I mean, you because probably, their laws are wicked. Right, right, right. Exactly. So you've been a student of the Noble Jew Ali, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Right. Okay. You've been as well, a, as well as okay. so, as well as political science. All right, well, all right, let's get straight to it. I don't want to put you in my category. You've been a student of Nova Duali and as well as political science. You understand that we were over here before the Europeans got here. You understand that we established our, we had the Moors had their own set of laws. The Moors or blacks had their own set of laws, their own way of living before we got over here. Before the European came, so we should have as much right as, a, a, as an indigenous people as anybody. Right. You understand? And I understand. I definitely know. The issue is, is though that this, because this is, you gotta remember, like, we've been embedded into this, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, the mentality is talking to you is coming from a biblical aspect. However, I still know where you're coming from, you understand? Just read that right quick. Psalms, chapter 94, verse 20. This is just the answer, because you, you know, Yes, we do need to know the laws here to be able to operate. I, you know, I'm, I'm agree with you on that. Yes, we do need to know certain laws here. But it's just what's happened to this place because do I want to establish here in America and be a, you know, a citizen? Well, that's the conflict. Let me read this to you. Read. 
Psalm 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? It says, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? So, we might can take our citizens, I guess, our citizenship away from America. We can have our own, you know, what, what they call it, uh, uh, autonomous body politics. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's a word today. Uh, sovereign. Sorry. I'm trying to think of the okay. word. Okay, autonomous and sovereign would be very closely similar to only okay. when we say sovereign, we're saying without need of uh, external support. Now, I would say because it is so difficult for us to be full clothing and shelter self sufficient, to say that we would seek sovereignty in, in, in such a short period of time probably wouldn't be realistic. But we can't be autonomous because guess what? We all out here autonomous, but we both have a taste for polo. <laughs> in front of your family, right, right. that's not sovereign. Like this here. And right. anymore out here talking about he's sovereign and he got a polo shirt on, he lying. You're absolutely right. We we admitted that we not sovereign. We know we Catholics. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 Prisoners we of war. Exactly. We now, know that. And that's why I'm glad we connect on that level. For now, it's because we already made that. How do we go from prisoner of war to citizen, member of a free drill society? Because Israelite culture itself is independent of itself. It's autonomous. You'll have laws. You'll have structure. You'll have a hierarchy. The Bible gives the original people, the, the original people made, that's why I don't know what the other brothers talking about, that it was a European Bible. The original people made the Bible. That's why the Moors, the Asiatics who were here, they had the Bible here before the European up came. It wasn't, the Bible wasn't brought to us, Israelite culture wasn't brought to us via uh, enslavement. We've always been that. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's transformed right. over time. So now that we know that, now in the day, in the day and time now, how do we go back to utilizing our Israelite culture and customs in a legal format for the benefit of the people who now, they on Section 8 welfare and food stamps. They don't need to go to the devil. We can provide them shelter. We can provide them food, but we need to have a, uh, you know, incorporation, realistically. Or how are we going to get the money? And I'm not talking about from the government. I'm talking about if you give me federal reserve notes and I don't have anywhere to put it, I can't convert this into gold later. I can't walk around with shekels later because I didn't have anything to make the shekels because I'm a prisoner of war. I'm not free. I can't acquire for myself. So that's what I'm saying. Can we come together and, uh, and this is right. This is right. Can, now, can, can we make it legal? <laughs> But why, I mean, but... You say, why not? Can't we? I'm saying, like, but... Okay, making it legal, I guess, how would that change our circumstance in this place? I guess that's my question. Okay, see this here? Who, I don't know is all more. Is all more? Yeah. Oh, it's my okay. All right, well, you doing that? No, 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 no. My, okay, okay. Let's say, let's say nobody's in here. I'm just telling them to get to a script. Okay, so let's say nobody's in here, right? Okay, because we have a prior claim to the land. Right. We can say, listen. We, as long as we can say we are, because we have a claim that's prior to any European, we would like to reclaim it for our use. What use? A religious use. We're going to be here, we're going to teach, we're going to educate. Furthermore, we're going to build shelter systems for the impoverished, low income people of the area. You can't say no to that because not only is it legally right, but it's morally right. But you need to have the legal right with the moral right. People morally correct the prison. They ain't on the law. Right. So that's my point. Okay, well, here's the thing. It's like, because it is, it's two sides to this point. The one thing is, is that while, yes, we can argue for the laws so we can actually establish ourselves and, you know, do this and this and that for our community, help build it up, you understand? And I, and I get that. But going back to the original point, I'm building something. But also, I, I got to give them something else. I just can't, you know, when I want to build something, I want to do it for my community, but I also have to know that they're willing to humble themselves to this work, and I want to teach them the law. See, it's a problem because the mindset of our people, we really don't want to humble ourselves into a subjection to the law. You understand? We don't like, like this. That's how we feel about people. Exactly, exactly. Like, I can build a community, and I can, you know, open and establish a store for a lot of people, but then I got to tell I'm like, well, listen, brother, I'm going to get this for you, but you can't drink no more. You know that, right? You can't be smoking cigarettes no more. You know that, right? Okay, so a lot of the people that have those problems is in that condition. They're doing those things. 
So we have to retrain. So that's why we have to start at a base level and give them what the do's and don'ts are first. And that's what we're trying to do. You understand? Now, getting past that point, since me, you know, since we already, since we, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Why don't you start at the root of the problem? Because that's 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 what's causing the smoking industry. Yeah. Why don't we address the root of the problem with our people, and that's nationality. If you don't know where you come from, you can't know where you're going or where you're at. Which is why you acting the way you act like. I mean, so you know what we Hebrew Israelites? Yeah, yeah. I know y'all. He's from my head. I'm from all of my All right, all right, all right, cool. Cool, cool. All right, so, so that's, the, that's the root of the problem. Now, how do we lose our nationality? Because we were chasing after the gods of Europe whom we knew nothing of. Right. Okay, so that's, so that's the, all right, so that's the root then, right? So now, if now that's the root, ourselves. it behooves us to find the original God then, or the God that we used to serve, instead of chasing after the other gods, right? Right. So that brings us back to point A. That brings us back to where it gave us who this guy was, correct? Right. So we still have to get that root. Now, do you want to know who this guy was? Talking about Yahweh. No, that's not his name. See that? But that's, okay. but see, but that's the whole thing, though. That's no problem because we got a lot of different names. And as so. you know, this Bible has a specific thing that he's he's uh, accountable for. He's jealous. So when you call it on him, every other name, like if your name is what? How do you have a loving God? But he, right, but I'm loving, but I'm also jealous at times. Okay, I just want everybody. Hold on, I want everybody to realize. I want everybody to realize. Hold on, this just went. This just went from political to religious. I know, I know. Just so everybody know. Right, 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 right. No, no, but but his question was. We stand on. Wait, hold on. Why did why did it go that way? Hey, Mark L. Why did it go that way? Why did it go from? Political to religion because it was a conversation to describe. He said the original point because I was giving you answers to what you were saying about building the economic structure. Because I want to start 2015. There, there is okay. no separation between church and state, though. That was a lie that they sold us in school. True, it's not supposed to be. You, you're right. It's not because you're right. You're right. On God's principles. You stand in a court, you swear in on a Bible. I know, I know. But what I'm telling you is, is that your original question was we had to start from the, the root thing. Because I was like, well, listen, I can do everything. I want a community, but if they still doing opposite of what's this, then they still defiling their temple, it's not going to mean anything. So we got to change our mindset. He said, what was the original point? Our original point was, because he made a statement, you're traveling out to other gods, you're going after them. So who is the God that we're supposed to be adhering to, all right? That's where I was going next, because Yahweh is not it. Right. All right, well, yeah, because he's a jealous guy, he's particular about what you might call him. You understand? Guess what? Yahweh is not it. Yahweh is not it. The YHW8 was actually created by the Masoretes. We got the information, we got the history, and all that. The text of Grimmington, YHWH, that was injected in the scriptures. All right? We're going to show you his true name, and we're going to show you the original scripture, which we got. Give me my Septuagint. My Septuagint. I want to show you guys the original name. Give me Exodus 3 and 13, though. Exodus. Exodus chapter 3 verse 13. And Moses said unto God. We're going to get back to it. Don't worry. We're just going to jump off to the religion for a little bit. We're going to get back to it. Go ahead. And Moses said unto God. Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, it shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you. Hold on, hold on, brother. I know this. Oh, I just saw it fast, bro. I know. I'm from LA. I'm not I'm from here. Right. Yeah, this is my hometown. I'm, I'm, I'm from LA. I'm from here. Right? Yeah, I saw that same one. Look at our kids. Yeah. 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 We see you around. We around the corner, though. Okay. At the LaQuinta Switch. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. We just seen you out here. I appreciate you, G. Yeah, still our brother. Hey, this point ain't nothing but love. You know what I'm saying? I just don't get into all this. It's all we all family. Right. All right, man. We'll keep it low. Slow, man. Keep God's law, all right? Peace, Mom. Peace. Pardon me. Right, no, no Exodus. problem. No problem, man. Exodus. We'll be back out there in New York pretty soon, too, man. All right. I'll Maybe, be waiting. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll be back real. out there, man. <laughs> Come on. Give that's me Exodus. Exodus. Hopefully, hopefully in November. Go ahead. Exodus chapter 3, verse 13. Go ahead. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, 
What is his name? What is his what? What is his name? What is his name? That's a question right there. What is his name? Why? Because you have a lot of gods. Uh huh. You have Yahweh. Uh huh. You have Jehovah. Yeah. You have, you have Yahweh. Shah, exactly. uh -huh, come you have on. Lot, right? What is his name? And then we're going to get the original text before this because this is. I, I'll explain that later. Go ahead. What shall I say unto them? Go ahead. And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. What's his name? I am that I am. Read. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. What is I am in the Hebrew? Do you know? He knows because he, he, he knows GOC, man. What was it? You know, we, you, you out of it. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you then. The ancient Hebrew, I am that I am. We're going to prove that that was the same thing written. It wasn't Yahweh back in the Septuagint. Uh -huh. It's Ahaya. Ahaya, Asha, Ahaya. Yeah, I should know that. Be I hear that all day. Ahaya, Asha, Ahaya. That's I am that I am. All right, that's his name. Not Yahweh, not none of that Yahweh. All right, the Y H W H that was injected into the scripture during the period of the Masoretes. Ahaya, Ahaya, A H A Y A H. All right, that's the Paleo Hebrew. That's his name. That's the name that our people should be calling. Them that's why our people in the island say Yah, huh? But they say Yah because Yah just really means power. Okay, Alright, that's okay. what that's what the word Yah comes from. It comes from the word Allah Hayyam, you understand? But Allah Hayyam is power. You understand? Yah just means God, alright? But what I'm telling you is is that Y H W H that was never in the original scriptures, you understand? And we you know we can build or whatever and I can show you proof of that or whatnot. But let me show this right quick. This is what we have right here. This is I should show them this. My bad. The Septuagint with the Apocrypha. Now this was a Greek translation of the Old Testament. A translation did, written back in the third century BC, around the Ptolemies, all right? As you can see, on the left, because Hebrew goes from right to left, that's how it's written, but this is Greek. This is a Greek translation. I'm gonna read the same thing what I read to you. Okay. This is the Greek language, all right? Okay, okay, okay. There were certain Hebrews, when you read about in the Maccabees, certain Hebrews went to the, you know, the Greeks, you understand? We captivity in the Greeks. They had our people translate that the, uh, the records into the Greek form, you understand? PG, I'll be speaking on Greeks, because you know, the past few days now, I've been speaking to Greeks, man, you know. I'm drawing a conclusion that Greek, Greece, these people, they're not really existing. It's like, yeah, you, so you already know where I'm going? I, I kind of know where you're going. So I now, these people going. who were inhabiting what we now know is Greece. Right. At that time, those those weren't Europeans. Well, no, a lot of, well, some of, a lot of them were Europeans, but you had another faction of us who were called Hellenists. All okay. right, we were the another Hellenics. term, yeah, the Hellenists, which were Jews who spoke the Greek tongue. A portion of the Roman Empire still. Right, well, the Romans came after Greek stuff, you understand? The Rome came after the Greek Empire, all right? The Greek Empire, Alexander, Alexander the Great, he was a real person. Alexander the Greek, he was a real person. They didn't have it, we got the history and everything. Yeah. He was a white, a so-called white man. He was a European. But you say, that's pretty, that, that's pretty phenomenal that a European is going all around North Africa beating us up, God. But see, what, what, where we gotta go in back fact, to. In fact, I haven't seen oh, a no. European whoop me nowhere. <laughs> Not even in jail. Brother, I see a lot of Europeans whooping on our people every day. I, you know why? They in uniform. You know why? Right? You, you know why? why? It's my When we go into antiquity and we was all together, the only time he coming in is when we fighting. And you know how he went to fight? You ever play Call of Duty? You got the dude down like one bar of help and then the other guy comes and takes the kill? Right. That's what they did. Now, I can even bring so up So Alexander the, the Great coming around and you know, Carthage and Numidia and all that, I don't know. Right, but hold on, but why not though? The, U the U.S. Americans, they're from the European army and they're going to Africa all the time. How many of us is in there though? The dragon gave them power. The dragon gave them power, man. How many of us is in there though? And where? Every, listen, when that, listen. Oh, you're talking about the army, right? Let's not, let's not, about the army, right? let's not look at a European okay. face when they got an Asiatic body. But hold on. Because World War II. All right, but hold on, hold on. How many black people were in Greek? So-called black. Now, here's the question. When we okay. call these people Greek, that's why I brought that up. Because right. when we say in Greek, not to not to say that yeah. everybody over here was some European or Palestinian. Like there were people inhabiting that area, and the reason I say that is because when Jesus went, or Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. We call him Yeshaya. Yeshaya, good luck. Yasha. Yo, I was getting lost there because it's a different dialect for Yeshaya. So now when Yeshaya went to Greece, he wasn't over there teaching no Europeans. When he went to Greece, it was all people who had been uh, living in conditions uh, less than civilized. Yeah, and Yahya wasn't going, I mean, um, John wasn't going 
all the way out there. He's over in the wilderness building himself up because he got a mission to tell Jerusalem, yo, your king is coming. So when Yahia went over there teaching those Greeks, it's to be, you know, just for any of you, and there wasn't no Europeans over there and the Greeks, uh, I don't know how you well, feel, there but were some over there. that was whooping our ass. Yeah, but there was Ever. some over there, like, you understand? Like, just like you have today, we all consider what we think are Americans. You understand? Now, there's different type of Americans. We all consider ourselves one. You know, that's the whole basis of my show. We all, right, all well, Americans. Hey, well, see, we have to build now. now we all, what kind of American are? Because the type of American we are is going to be shown in our actions. You're right, you're right. It's going to be shown well, yeah, in our manager. Well, I, I want to stick on one point, though. We're going, we're going, we're going, you know, we kind of all over the place. I just want to show this. Yeah. The same thing that was written when we read in Exodus 3 and 13 is the same thing in the Septuagint, all right, which is a Greek translation of the Hebrew Bible. Right. Hebrew to Greek, all right? Read that part right there. This is Exodus 3 and 13. I want to. I want to show him. I want to show him again. Can I read it? Yeah, yeah you can read it. Y'all always want to do that, B. Can you your please hold this? Pretty please. Thank you. Oh. Yo, this is, yo, this clip is going to be, yo, this is going to be on every Instagram channel. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to cut me for but, um, but I, want, I, want brother, I want you to see it though, all right? So he's going to read, this is 3, this is verse 11, and this is verse 13, right? 11 and 13? Yeah, no, 3 and 13. 3 and 13. You see 13. The 13 right there? Yeah. And that's the translation. Nice. Was, over here, that's the original text, all right? Yeah. All right, so. How y'all even see that? And, and Moses said to God, your fingers, guys. Go ahead. <laughs> Behold. I shall go forth to the children of Israel, not the children of Ishmael, the children of Israel, and shall say to them, the God of our fathers has sent me to you, and they will ask me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? And God spoke to Moses saying, I am the being. And he said, thus shall ye say to the children of Israel, the being has sent me to you. See that? So now. Now if I'm a king, I ask you who said that, and you say the being, I'm going to be tight. Right. Of course you are. But guess what? The being or to be, I am or to be or to exist in the Hebrew, that's higher. All right? That's higher. A higher is my power or my being or you know uh, he or he the, the power or he he power you understand he is this so all right existing so, and power in that language same no word? i mean to exist or you know to, to exist. exist or to be you understand like that's why they call him the omnipresent omnipotent he's everything i am you understand he's within everything all right he is us so that's why we refer to him we call